welcome to Panthaki Learn. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Here we can get to know like what is SWT. So inside this uh, particular transformations, therefore, uh, once when we go for compression techniques and all means, there are many types of compressions like uh, lossy compression, lossless compressions and all. And uh, among that, this DWT, SWT comes under a huge kind of different compression compared to that. Why means those conversions and compressions are based on the pixel value. Here, these compressions come under the based on the wavelet transform value. So, on to the wavelet transforms, here we have two types. One is discrete and another one is stationary. So, discrete in the sense, each and every decomposition will be applied into half. So, whatever the data we provide, that resolution will be reduced into the half of the uh, level whatever we have provided to it. Previously, we have seen uh, regarding towards a short intro on SWT, this is known as stationary wavelet transform. Now, on to that particular uh, stationary wavelet transform, here we are going to do some practical things inside the MATLAB. So, once uh, whenever we are working regarding towards this uh, different, different uh, wavelet transforms, initially we have seen that discrete wavelet, now we are seeing the stationary, and uh, we came to know that discrete will be decomposing that particular level to half of the level whatever we have applied from the original the same like inside the stationary it will overcome that particular dwt and which makes us a little bit more extraction over here and the compression also from that we have to set the feature as well as the compression also must be there for that purpose only we are using this kind of wavelet transforms now how to apply that particular stationary wavelet into this particular subjects so first as usual we have to uh, read that particular image and that image should be converted into the grayscale when color also we can do so for color we will show after completing the grayscale part and like whatever we have done we have to provide the four variables now on to that we have to apply SWT2 function. First, we have to provide the image order and the level of decomposition. Now, after that, we have to uh, provide each and every code mat for this. So that uh, code mat it is nothing but applying the scales for each and every range, whichever we have seen in this variables. So the code mat format is W code mat within bracket. So first uh, we have to apply for the variable A and within that we have to create another bracket which contains uh, RGB plane. So in that RGB plane uh, the final plane will be detected as 1 out of 255. Now similarly we have to apply like this for everything so everything means are the four now for us the level one code has been finished same like we have to apply for level two so this means for level one level 2 again 4 now on this uh, level 2 what and all we have to change means for our convenient only i am making this as f2 to maintain that particular order or else we can provide anything there is no such uh, requirement that this must be the variable like that and all so here the same variable must be there now this value must be changed into the second order therefore the level 2 is also ready now we can plot 
each and every part over here so first uh, we can plot everything in the series of level 1 so we can go with montage itself montage of i and uh, here we have to apply a1 s1 d1 and f1 thumbnail size now let us see what is the output for the level 1 so here uh, there is a particular size which should be applied for this and the suggested sizes 424,60 so like uh, here we can have to use a equal to im resize on to that which image we are going to apply and the scale of it now onto that swt uh, the exact uh, section is required for the size now this is for the level 1 and same thing let us see for level 2 so that uh, same change for level 1 and level 2 now let us try with different image so this is what comes under for the next image also this is the level of order now uh, the same thing uh, we can just see what it has been received under a b c d so therefore it is not able to display that particular image since those will be the values which provide in the form of code mat conversion after the code mat conversion only we will be able to display it that's why we are using now let us see the output for the color image so this is not a color this will be our color image so for color image also the same way so therefore the compression will be done into this two levels now let us reconstruct the data using ISTW, ISWT so as usual we have to read the image and here that image we will be uh, resizing it I am directly applying it as a color only so for that resizing also I am just uh, providing the same variable so this data extraction is a different type based on the pixels since we have applied with the color now we have to apply the stationary wavelet transform and uh, from that we have to provide the respective variable and here i am providing the level of 4 now we have to reduce that particular size over here by using zeros we have to collect all the datas into array so the size will be uh, according to whatever we have provided into this portion so make it as mention size now we have to slice it up so this slicing it comes under for the four orders so now we have sliced for the four orders with respectively to the a value and both the sides are equal now we have to apply for the recovery for the recovery the command is iswt2 now we have to enter the parameters we have to call our zeros function or array we have to multiply it in horizontal then vertical along with the decibels of 4 now the recovery formula should be applied so for the recovery formula here we have to provide r minus minimum value of r over here 
divided by maximum value of REC sorry R. Now within that we have to divide this particular function with on divide subtract the particular function with minimum value of the word value. Now we have to apply that particular image or form that image whatever we have received onto the R2. So there only the reconstruction is held. So here I can provide any variable for that. The diagonal value also should be added. So now all the process it has been applied. And now we can see that particular uh, reconstruction, whatever it has been reconstructed upon this. So like this kind of reconstruction only we will be able to obtain. In this way only we will be applying our inversion of SWT. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.